Matthias, can you hear me? Yes, I'm here. Welcome everybody, it is me, Mickey Mouse Martinez. Uh -huh. Ah oh, man, I think I messed it up. <laughs> oh well, I'm sorry. Anyways, welcome back, part two on Anthem. There are some technical difficulties on this mission, on this video, and on future video, uh, because it did skip a mission, and I do apologize for that. And on this video, you'll see the error uh, sooner enough in the future. On this video, I will dialogue it for you guys. Reason being is because the memory on the PS4, what I'm recording on, was not saving because these missions are so long they take a while so that being said for that reason there's gonna be lots of cutscenes um, which is a good thing because it'll be straight to the story mode and uh, it'll be straight to the point and it'll be faster and entertaining for you guys so you guys won't be here for a long time just uh, watching me shoot some people for for hours on end so uh, just to catch you guys up we're looking for a guy named Matthias uh, he is an arcanist and he's gonna help us find um, some sort of script. He's, he's looking for something. He's on a scavenger hunt. So we're gonna go search for him. Uh, make sure he's safe and bring him back home. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Like, subscribe, and comment down below what you guys think. He's not here. Wait, that's the radio we were following. The scars were taking it apart. We fixed that. I bet we reached the bias. What's happening with the scars? Something has them enraged. That seems to be the last of the scars. Let's fix that radio. What needs to happen? Get me into the access panel, I'll do the rest. Okay, done. Starting repairs. Oh, that doesn't look like a repair. Will you just let me? Ugh, damn it! <sighs> Hang on, we've got company. Can it be fixed? Yes, of course. Just deal with the scars, I'll figure it out. Serious. Focus on the big guy. Watch out for the flamethrower. Looks like we scared them off. Let's take care of the rest and get back to the radio. Matthias, 
Can you hear me? Yes. I'm here. I'm getting a read on his radio signal. Are you okay? A little banged up, but fine. You see that ramp up ahead? The one with the statue? Head up there. Scars near you. See anything? A few spots of trouble. Near misses. They're quite relentless. Wait, what's this? I found some canisters. Hmm. Huh. Could prove useful. Don't try anything dangerous. Not to worry. It'll be a contained explosion. I think you better hurry. Swarm here. That's what Matthias did you with.
What the hell? Oh, I think he's done. Yes, he is done. <sighs> Let's clean up the rest of them now, shall we? Signals? I'll keep monitoring. You should check on Matthias. Matthias? Here, right here. These scars. I don't know what to think. Arcanists and scars often clash over Shaper sites, but nothing like this. I must tell Tassin. Please. I need to return to Fort Tarsus. Freelancer. Thanks for the save. That trouble was unexpected. You often hang around outside the walls like that? Occupational hazard. But this was different. Something's making the scars more violent. I think it's the Dominion. We think they're back. I'm sure you must know Freelancer Yarrow. <sighs> I think Tassin's right. This feels like before the attack on Freemark. The one that set off the Heart of Rage? I don't really know the whole story. I do. Much of what I am about to tell you is not well known. My ward, Johnny, was there ten years ago. She saw it with her own eyes. What you will already know is that Fremark was one of the great cities. Proud, prosperous, but most important, it held the largest and greatest enclave of freelance. The Freelancers along with the Sentinels, Guardians of the Walls, protected Freemark and its people from the chaos of our world. Until one day, the Dominion arrived on their doorstep. Cruel conquerors from the North. The Dominion, the Sentinels, and the Freelancers would make their claim for Freemark that day. Each group heirs in their own right to the legendary General Tarsis and her Legion of Dawn. Freelancer Adams led the charge as the Enclave leapt to meet the Dominion forces head on. My Johnny, says the army, was massive. The Dominion was led by Dr. Harkin, a man never seen before or after that day. He came to take the city at any cost. So they fought, outnumbered, outflanked, and outgunned. Free Lancers fought. They did well for a time. But the walls of the Great Free Mark did not hold. The Dominion poured in. Adams, with many freelancers, made their last stand outside the city walls. While some, like Johnny, stayed to help who she could. When, without warning, 
the doomed sentinels fell back. But now I tell you that deep in the city, Johnny discovered what the sentinels already knew. The Dominion didn't want to destroy Freemark. They wanted to capture an ancient Shaper relic that was protected deep inside the city. The Cenotaph. It seems this Dr. Harkin believed he had created a way for the Dominion to use the Cenotaph to control the Anthem of Creation itself. Arrogance. The Anthem will not be controlled. The terrible cataclysm, which was unleashed that day, destroyed Freemark, destroyed the Dominion, destroyed everything. That cataclysm became the heart of rage. Some survived to tell the story of Freemark, but not many. Dominion must be back for a reason. I clearly have more intel to hunt down. Come and find me later. Yeah, me too. I'll contact you when I have something. I'll be in the Enclave.